Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with a Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Blind. Episode... Damn it. Uh, 22. In this one... Um, what do we got? We need to find the last conspirator. But I don't feel like just going to each place on the fucking map looking for an arrow during night, then during day, then during night. He needs to go up to the Dalish. Oh yeah, that we've got the uh, arrow for that. Let's do that one. So he comes down. Do you have anything interesting to say, Isabella? I once knew a sailor like you. We lost him in a hurricane. Very sad. Man, you're always commenting. Just figuring things out, he said. Okay, well, um, do we have any quests out here? No, just that one. So yeah, let's go do Enemies Among Us. So, there must be mages in oh. Tevinter who don't use blood magic. Hello, here we go. Of course, there are slaves. The Magisters do not hesitate to collar their own kind. But no Magisters. Why must you go on about this? No Magister would turn down an advantage over his rivals. If he did, he'd be dead. You know, to use blood magic, you need to look a demon in the eye and accept his offer. I just figured some of them would say no. For aesthetic reasons, if nothing else. You misspelled aesthetic. Aesthetic is spelled with an A. And let's see... My dear wife, Nanette, has gone missing. I'll serve the word. We return there to safety. Questions about the bounty come speak in Hightown Market. Okay. Cool. Another quest. And he's even right here. So let's go chat with him. I need to find my wife. Will no one help me? Sure. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Nanette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? I'm interested in the bounty. I intend to claim the reward for finding your wife. You are going to look to for the next shot of her. Finally, someone who looks competent. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. The guards disagree. They are more disagreeable than my wife. Maybe your friend is more sensible. Maybe. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. So, is she in danger? Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. Don't you want her back? You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Ninette keeps the company of other men. Huh? And makes no secret of it. Oh, wow. I'll be better bitch. off with her gun. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it. They would ruin me otherwise. <laughs> Marriage. Marriage is more trouble than it's worth. Mm, it wasn't always like this. We were in love. You can go she away now. Thank you. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes I wonder if I dreamed those years. So when did you ask her? How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Her family suspicious? Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? 
Oh, favor me. Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, sir. Thanks. Okay, so we got another quest. Well, good luck to you then. <coughs> we get to go back to the brothel. But in the meantime... Oh, wait, I probably guess... I probably have... Hey, Franz. You're Rick. Crap to sell. What? Um... Yeah, what's, what kind of... I got a... Oh, I got a lot of empty stained bottles. So, yeah, just... Go ahead and sell that. What does that do? Yeah, hang on to that. Probably not. Well... Okay, I could definitely ditch that. I'll hang on to both of those just in case. Definitely not. Well, how's that compare to your sword? I doubt it compares. Yeah, and especially since yours improves with uh, level up, you just hang on to that. This, on the other hand, if I remember right, yeah, this this thing is awesome. This is going to uh, go into Anders as soon as he has 28 magic. Speaking of which, I should probably focus on that instead of his willpower a bit. Okay, anyway, let's go visit the front of the Chantry. Hello, Macha. Have you seen him? Please, can you help me? My brother. What about him? Give me the details. Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. Tell me about Meredith. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They laud at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce and fierce. utterly without pity. That she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What rumors? What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. All right, come on, woman. Pull yourself together. Stop crying and tell me what you know. Yes, Sarah. Bitch. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Yeah, what's in it for me? I'd be putting myself at risk, possibly crossing the Templars. Why should I do this for you? I have precious little, but if you find my brother, I will manage some way to pay you. Perchance, in your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Okay. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Sure thing. Okay. But before we do... Oh, hey, great. Down compares. Not even, but something to sell. <coughs> Anything here yet? Of course not. Um, all right, well, let's go to the brothel. Uh, top root or, yeah. Yeah, let's go. All right. Onward to the wrong direction. No, we're going to the brothel. The brothel! Do we come here so often? Because we were told to come here. It's part of a quest, jerk. Mm 
Yes, yes, yes. I know that's specialization so I can ask her. Madam says no. And I'm not crossing that old bat for anything. Who is Sabina anyway? We haven't seen her around. Speaking of which, where's the mad madame? What if I want to uh the merchandise is up front. Like what, like her? I'll get your order in a minute. Oh no, you're just a barmaid. Okay, and I've, I've already explored this place. Let's just talk to dude. Why was your friend made tranquil? Do you know? No, and it doesn't matter. Nobody deserves that. I know some mages who deserve that. Really? Perhaps they should start making slaves tranquil. Then they wouldn't dream of escaping. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Slaves do not attract demons that try to possess them. Which clearly justifies it. What a perfect solution. Boy, they sure disagree pretty hardcore. So, Jethan, I presume? Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. <laughs> what can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? To get I money? I don't want to hire you. I'm here about Nanette. One of my favorites. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Wait. Think she left Gizla? Did she tell you she left her husband? No. I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Ninette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. You know, I know an elf. Ooh, perfect screenshot. No. Come on, go away. Will that text ever go away? No. I can't zoom out. Well. You think she, uh, could she be in trouble? Do you think Nanette has come to home? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Has he ever spoken to you? Ghislaine knew about you and Nanette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. This is a waste. So you don't actually know anything? What made you think I would? <laughs> anyway, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. Yeah, I definitely I know an elf too. I can't see why a Templar would, like. would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. You sure she isn't a mage? Any chance Ninette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if Ninette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. You're sure about that? You're sure about that? Any chance? No, no, okay. Wait, what the? What happened? I pressed escape to skip his dialogue, and now I've got this. What's going on? What the fuck? Um, I'll try pausing the recording, maybe? No, that didn't help. This has never happened before. Did I, did, is the game finally crashed on me? I think it might have. Okay, I'm gonna pause the recording and, um, I don't know, go mess with the puppies or something. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if it still says loading when I get back. Okay, I got the game to crash. Go me. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, uh, see you back, um, at the autosave at the entrance of the place. Alright, here we are back at the entrance. So let's talk to him. I don't, I guess I'll ask him those, qu well, yeah, let's see if we can get it to, uh, to, 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 break again today I don't I hear she finally left her worthless Ninette's a jewel yeah, a waste of time. elegant so you I can't see why a Templar you know would be interested him. in anyone who isn't a mage maybe he has something useful to say I told you what I know sorry it wasn't what you wanted Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown you could see if he's still there let's do that 
And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. No thanks. Your, your hand gestures are definitely... But look, now he's got an exclamation point over his head. And guess what? That means we can do. Back again. Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? If well, I wanted to, I could say yes, but no. I was just passing through. Have it your way. Alright, onward to Darktown. Nice outfit. With gray hair. Wait, who am I kidding? Even the old women in this game are fucking attractive as hell. That's one of the reasons, actually, that I decided to make, um... Uh, uh, Calamity just so damn ugly. Uh, we're not going to the gallows yet. I was there to do it at night. No, just... Still, dark town. Okay, well, let's get near to the arrow and then end the episode. I still can't believe I got the game to freeze. That's the first time that's happened. I, I gotta say, especially for an initial release of a Bioware game, it's it's been incredibly stable. And the puppies are... Pink. Oh, well, okay, I guess we're fighting these guys. That was a hell of a backstab. Well, that went well. Really? Not a single corpse to loot? Lame. Well, no matter. Yeah, let's go ahead and search down here. Hey, you have a name. Denzig! Mother. Manners, this is my territory. Don't. Oh, and a corpse. Yes, we want to return that to the chantry at some point. And oh, yeah, I was about to say, come on, source of death root. Awesome. And we're gonna end it there. This There's has. No food here. I want to go home. <laughs> Sucks for you. It's been your funky honky with Let's Play Dragon Age Two. Not that blind right at the moment. Stay tuned for episode 23, and I hope you see me next time.